Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a little update video because I was looking at my channel and I realized that I'm being a total slacker and I haven't done a tutorial in forever and I feel horrible, like it's been over a month and I, I hope you guys understand that I am busy, like I just moved out and I got a job on Friday, it's Sunday today. I got a job so I'm trying to get all that taken care of and I'm trying to get my license because embarrassingly enough I'm almost 20 and still don't drive. And, um, I'm trying to get all that taken care of and, you know, moving out was a lot more stressful than I thought it would be only because of financing. Like if you have a job and you can afford and you are good with your money, if you could afford it, it's totally not that big of a deal. But it was for me because I didn't have a job. But now that I do, I'll be able to afford car payments and insurance and my bed that I have to pay for. Whoa, I'm like doing like... Weird stuff. Um, anyway. Yeah, so I just wanted to do a little update thing. Um, recently, what's been going on? It was my niece's birthday today. She turned six. And my... My brother-in-law? My half-brother-in-law? I don't know. It's my brother-in-law's brother. He bought my niece a tarantula. Like, no joke. He walks in the house with this big cage... And there's a big hairy spider in it. And I was like, oh my gosh, Daniel, you need to stop. Like, that's not even funny. I mean, my niece, Emery, she wanted a tarantula, but ooh, I'm looking. I'm looking at myself. Like right now, I'm looking at myself. But it looks like I'm looking like way off. Let me make it in the middle so maybe that's a little bit better. Sorry, I like have a hard time looking at the little camera thing. I don't know why. I just like don't. Anyway, so yeah, my niece got a tarantula for her birthday. And the weird thing was is um, her birthday party was a tea party. And then all of a sudden she's like, guys, come look at my tarantula. And we're all like, Emery, why did you want a tarantula? Because the whole story was is Daniel went up to Emery and he was like, Emery, you're turning six. I will get you anything you want in the whole wide world. And she was like, okay, well, I'm going to have to think about that. And so she went to the store with her mom and came back, and he just stayed at their house. And Emery went up to Daniel, and he's like, Dan, she's like, Daniel, I know what I want for my birthday. And he's like, okay. She's like, and she had to whisper it because kn she knows that my sister does not like spiders. And she's like, I want a tarantula in a cage. And so he got her a tarantula in a cage. Like, my sister is freaking out because she does not like spiders like me. I mean, I guess tarantulas aren't poisonous or anything, but, I mean, a lot of people are afraid of them. Like, nobody wants a spider in their house that's, like, huge, and, I don't know, it's just creepy. So, anyway, yeah, so I've been, like, super duper busy getting a job and stuff like that, and I work, um, like, part-time and, like, really random scheduling, like, that eyebrow's weird, um... I won't know my schedule, like, the day ahead, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. So I'm going to try to squeeze in, squeeze, squeeze in a couple of videos. I did this look. I really like this one. You can't really tell because, I don't know, it's blue and brown. I liked it. I did it. And, I don't know. I feel so lame. I have nothing to talk about. Um, I read a really good book, but I got it from the library, so I can't really show you what it looks like, but it's called Her Fearful Symmetry, like S-Y-M-M-E-T-R-Y, -M -M -E I think that's right, um, and it's by the same author as um, The Time Traveler's Wife, so Audrey Niffenager, and it's just like a really good book. I can't really describe it without sounding really lame, because it doesn't sound good when I describe it, but it's pretty much... There's these two older twins, and one of them is named Elspeth, or something like that, and lives in London, and one of them's name is Eddie and lives in Chicago, and Eddie had two twin daughters who are mere twins, like me and my twin, who also share the same birthday as me and my twin, and I also, my dad is a twin, so, I don't know, it connected to me, but it's just, like, about this story, like, um... Elspeth, the one in London, she passes away and she gives her apartment that she bought. I guess in London you can like buy apartments. And um, she gives it to the twin daughters and they have to live there for a year. And their 
parents cannot go in the apartment with them. And after a year, they can either sell it or get rid of it or whatever. Selling and get rid of it, same thing, whatever. They can do whatever they want with it after one year. And so they go and live there, and I don't want to give anything away, but um, Elspeth comes back as a ghost, and you just deal with the twins' point of view as, you know, going through their aunt's death that they never knew. You go through Elspeth's, Eddie's point of view, um, of her death and her husband's point of view and then there's this other weird random story that's kind of thrown in because it's like five stories in one but they all connect like and um they have a neighbor named Robert no Martin Robert is the husband of Elspeth um Martin has OCD and his wife just like couldn't take it anymore and so she just moved to like Amsterdam or something Anyway, yeah, so it's a good book. Like, I really, really liked it. I'm halfway... I'm moving my shoulders a lot. <laughs> um, I'm halfway through Mockingjay, which is the last one of the Hunger Games trilogy. And I read the first chapter of my fe Her Fearful Symmetry, and I couldn't put it down. Like, it was that good. So, I don't know. That's about that. I've just been reading a lot. We just got the internet, so I'm gonna... This, today is the 24th. So I'm going to upload that today. Um, we borrowed internet from my neighbor. But she, like, let us. It's not like we're, like, stealing it or whatever. We're not bad people. That sounds bad. I'm not a bad person. <laughs> I mean... Anyway, off topic. I'm not going to go into that. That's stupid. Yeah, so I'm going to try to do some tutorials probably tomorrow and maybe Tuesday. But I work, like, in the morning until, like, 2 or 4 or whatever, so I'll try to squeeze some in. If not, they'll just be, like, try to do it on the weekends when I'm not... Del, come here! When I'm not doing anything. Chunky monkey, look at how big he's getting. Oh, thank you, thank you, I love it. Ouch, don't bite my ears! They still for like a second so people can see your pretty face. Hey, just squish it. Oh. He's getting chunky. He's going to be 12 weeks on Friday. So in five days he will be 12 weeks old, which means he'll be old enough to get his shots and get fixed and all that. And he's getting chunky. Like he's twice the size of when we first got him. And he's still potty trading. And it's really hard to like... At night, well, he's gotten pretty good. He used to wake me up every two hours to go outside. And we live upstairs in the apartment. Patton's right here. But um, now he only wakes me up at 7.30 in the morning every morning. So I just kind of wake up early. But it's, like, hard for me because I carry him downstairs and I carry him upstairs because he gets sidetracked. And, oh, I love you too. And um, I don't know. He's just, like, I have muscle now, but really I don't. Where do I do this? I'm so bad at Ooh. I don't have any muscle. I'm so weak. I used to. I used to play volleyball and I was a setter, so I used to have really strong muscles, but now he's he's probably only like maybe twenty pounds and he feels like a lot. <laughs> and I'm really pathetic for admitting that, but yeah. That's about it. That's about my life. I'm sorry for the lack of like everything. It's weird, but I'll try to make it up. Thanks for understanding, guys. And I will get back to you within the next three days. And if I don't, I don't even know. I'll feel bad. But, yeah. So, thanks for watching and thanks for understanding. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.